To this day, McCartney earns 30% royalty on every Beatles song. Are you with Rolling Stones? But he doesn't own any of them. Michael Jackson does. We wrote two songs together. And during lunch or something, he just took me aside and said, I'd like some advice. So I felt kind of big brotherly. You know, I'm quite a bit older than him. So I said, um, for business, you ought to think about music publishing. It's because it's very good business. You love music. I'm into it. It does very well. It's a nice, easy business for a musician to be in. And it's a, it's a, it's a very um, rewarding business because mm -hmm. it's, it's music, it's right. songs, beautiful songs. So he kind of said, okay, you know, and that was the end of it. And then a couple of weeks later we were chatting and he just came up to me and said, I'm going to buy your songs, you know. And I went, oh, yeah, great, you know, good one, and we just carried on. And then a few weeks after that he said, I'm going to buy your songs. And I thought, well, it's a bit of an old joke by now, but very funny, all right. You know. And I still thought he was kidding, you know. And it was just a few weeks later, just somebody rang me up and said, Michael Jackson's bought Northern Songs. It's your whole portfolio. Oh, yeah, and that's, that's where all the Beatles songs are. But, you know... Um, but it's not funny in a way to you, is it? Well, no, it's not funny at all. But the thing is, there's nothing I can do about it. The, the fact that isn't funny was the fact that when we were 20, John and I, it was a kind of pretty ordinary publishing deal at the time. But they took the copyrights. So, you know, he bought that company, which was up for sales. There's nothing wrong with that. But I do intend to have a word with him. I spoke to him in L.A., actually. He did? Yeah, and said, look, we've got to come to a good understanding here. Because there are a number of things I don't like about how he runs the company. I mean, isn't this weird? Me going to this young entertainer. Very good. Look, I want a better deal right here. I figure I need a raise. <laughs> so he uses, uh, he uses Revolution uh, to sell sneakers. Yeah, and his uh, National Panasonic is all you need is love. Yeah. Good day, sunshine's an Oreo cookie these days. Yeah. All right, I know this is not the same thing, but there is the Visa commercial. You just shot it, and it's already you're already taking heat on it. All that's happening is that these people are kind of underwriting the transport costs of the tour. So in return for which, I won't actually ever be seen turning to the camera and say, you know, can't you walk together? There's none of that. They basically are just seeing me running from here to there, and they, they do their own commercial. And the way I see it, they're really promoting us. It's a very good deal, in fact. You know, right. we, that was, we stipulated. I said, I don't do commercials. I think it's bad for the songs. Right. I think it's bad for people of our generation who grew up with songs like All You Need Is Love. The song that you're proud of and you think it said something didn't mean National Panasonic.